Could Toyota be the company with the power to reshape the future of the auto industry? With one daring move, they're challenging the notion that electric cars are the only path forward. What's driving this bold revolution? Hydrogen. Today, we're diving into Toyota's groundbreaking hydrogen engine technology. We'll break down how it works, why it has the potential to push electric vehicles aside, and what it could mean for the future of driving, especially here in the U.S. This tech could disrupt the auto industry in ways we never anticipated. Stay tuned. You won't want to miss this. Enjoying the content? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest updates. Join us for more insights and exciting news. Be part of the community today. Toyota has long been a leader in green technology. When it introduced the Prius, it didn't just create a car, it sparked a movement. The Prius quickly became a favorite for Americans who wanted to save on fuel and reduce their carbon footprint. But Toyota's vision didn't stop with hybrids. Their latest breakthrough, a hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine, could be the next big leap in automotive innovation. Imagine an engine that runs on hydrogen without emitting a single gram of carbon. Unlike traditional gas engines that pump CO2 into the air, this one's clean. And here's the kicker. It still has the raw, visceral feel that car enthusiasts crave. Here in the U.S., the roar of an engine is woven into our car culture. Electric cars, for all their perks, just can't match the thrill and feedback of a combustion engine. And yet here's another reason why Toyota is hedging a bet with hydrogen. It provides the thrill of a high-performance engine without all the ecological drawbacks of gasoline. Let's break this down. These EVs utilize lithium-ion batteries for storage. Even though they have become quite common in cities and suburbs, EVs still face huge challenges in vast and spread-out regions that generally characterize most of rural America. One of the biggest sources of potential trouble is range anxiety, which really arouses skepticism. The ability to charge on long road trips, or in particular remote areas, will always be extremely limited, even though the U.S. has added more charging stations. Furthermore, recharging can take anywhere from 30 minutes to several hours, according to the station. Hydrogen, on the other hand, offers a completely different solution. Just like a gasoline car, hydrogen-powered cars can refuel in just a few minutes. And with hydrogen fuel, you're not sacrificing range either. In fact, Hydrogen cars can match or even exceed the range of traditional gasoline-powered vehicles, making them ideal for American road trips where long distances between stops are the norm. So why aren't there more hydrogen-powered cars on the roads in the United States? Why is most of the emphasis on battery electric technology? It has to do with infrastructure and cost. But first, let's start with the infrastructure. The U.S. is currently building out its EV charging network. And while many states are offering incentives to EV owners, hydrogen refueling stations remain extremely rare and scattered, with the most concentrated in California. While California has taken the lead in hydrogen development, it would be challenging to see these cars going mainstream across the country without more hydrogen stations. However, Toyota sees a much bigger future for hydrogen, even in the United States, and believes it will be as simple to refuel as stopping at a gas station as hydrogen infrastructure expands. Now it's up to the other states, particularly those where long-distance driving is all but a necessity, to follow California's example and begin investing in the construction of more hydrogen stations. Of course, the issue of sustainability also comes into play. Electric vehicles are considered green because there's no emission of noxious fumes while driving one, but the batteries do come with an environmental price tag. Hydrogen exhibits remarkable versatility, finding application in everything from passenger cars to heavy-duty trucks and industrial equipment. Meanwhile, Toyota's working on hydrogen-powered trucks that may finally change the game for industries like shipping and logistics across America. According to Toyota's leadership, the world doesn't need to completely kick internal combustion. It needs to think again about what fuels it. 
Hydrogen might just be how the world keeps internal combustion alive in a place screaming for cleaner, greener technology. Toyota's leading the charge, posing a serious challenge to the dominance of electric vehicles, even in America's car culture. This is more than just a technological argument. It's a statement expressing a strong belief in hydrogen rather than batteries as the future of clean mobility. Simplified, this represents Toyota's strong belief in hydrogen as the future of clean mobility. If they're right, electric cars might not be for everyone. Now, let's address the crucial issue, the potential cost for consumers. At this point, hydrogen cars cost more to buy than traditional gasoline cars and even battery electric vehicles. But Toyota believes that, just like EVs, those prices would drop as the technology advances and production scales up. With expanding infrastructure and continued innovation, hydrogen could be an option for everyday American consumers, giving them cleaner, higher-performance alternatives to both gasoline and electric vehicles in one stroke. Already, Toyota has been thinking of hydrogen-driven cars. The Toyota Mirai is a positive example. While it's more of a niche car today, it could be the foundational element for what comes next. If anything, most analysts predict that hydrogen technology will get cheaper far more quickly than batteries did in the early years of the electric vehicle adoption curve. This is largely due to the domestic production of hydrogen from water, which eliminates the need for costly foreign-mined materials like lithium and cobalt. A competitive hydrogen-powered vehicle from Toyota, priced to compete with electric vehicles, could totally transform the dynamics of the American car market. So, does this mean it's the beginning of the end for EVs, with this Toyota hydrogen engine making them irrelevant in the U.S. market? Only time will tell. What's for sure is that the automotive world is changing, and at a very rapid rate. Toyota is positioning itself to be right at the forefront of such change. What do you think? Do you believe hydrogen engines will surpass battery electric vehicles in the future, especially here in the States?